Gentlemen, we began with the breaking news. The IDF releasing the results of its investigation into that deadly airstrike that killed seven aid workers from World Central Kitchen in Gaza. The report calling it a grave mistake and detailing how the IDF, quote, mistakenly assumed Hamas gunmen were inside the World Central Kitchen vehicles. Israel also saying two high-ranking members of the IDF have now been dismissed from their posts and three others formally reprimanded. World Central Kitchen responding to this report saying it's a start, but not enough, and demanding an independent investigation right away. Joining us now is NBC's Megan Fitzgerald, NBC's Ali Ratha at the White House, and Joel Rubin, former Deputy Assistant Secretary of State in the Obama administration. Let's start with Megan now. Uh, Megan, just walk us through this report. Yeah, so Anna, the IDF starts by saying their forces first identified a gunman on one of the aid trucks and then identified an additional gunman. Now, after the vehicles left the warehouse where the aid had been unloaded, one of the commanders mistakenly assumed that Hamas operatives were in the vehicles and that they didn't know, in fact, it was World Central Kitchen staff. Uh, the IDF is calling it a grave mistake stemming from a serious failure they're also taking action. We're told that they dismissed two high-ranking commanders on the ground and reprimanded others. Uh, the IDF also says this shouldn't have happened, and they'll be making sure that it doesn't happen again. Now, just moments ago, Secretary Blinken said that the U.S. will be fully assessing the IDF's report sure. okay. and said they're not just looking to see what steps that are being taken, uh, but the results of those steps. Uh, as you mentioned, World Central Kitchen is responding this morning. They released a statement saying it's clear from the preliminary investigation that the IDF has deployed deadly force without regard to its own protocols, chain of commands, and rules of engagement. Uh, it went on to say that they're demanding an independent investigation. But look, you know, there's no doubt about it. International condemnation just continues to grow with Israel's staunchest allies denouncing their actions. Uh, and of course, public opinion on the way Israel is carrying out this war, Anna, uh, just continues to drastically shift around the world. And Ali, the, the Secretary of State also had called for an independent investigation before this report came out. Are we hearing any more response from the White House this morning? Yeah, Anna, well, in just the last hour on the tarmac in Brussels, we heard the Secretary of State say uh, that U.S. officials are carefully reviewing this report, this conclusion of the Israeli investigation into this strike. He says that U.S. officials will be discussing it with their Israeli counterparts, as well as officials with humanitarian organizations over the next coming days. Listen to more of his comments here. It's very important that Israel is taking full responsibility for this incident. It's also important that it appears to be taking steps to hold those responsible uh, accountable. Uh, even more important is making sure that steps are taken going forward to ensure that something like this can never happen again. And on that independent investigation he called for, it's still unclear what the next steps could be, when they could possibly happen, and who could potentially lead that. Uh, we saw National uh, John Kirby with the uh, National Security Council on the Today Show this morning, in addition to saying that the U.S. is carefully reviewing this, say that U.S. officials won't make any judgment until that careful review is concluded. So this is still a major outstanding question uh, we have as we continue to monitor the, the, the developments moving forward. Joel, it sounds like there are still a lot of questions people want answered. World Central Kitchen was very adamant they want an independent probe saying, quote, the IDF cannot credibly investigate its own failure in Gaza. What do you think? Is this report enough? Well, Anna, you know, I got to say that was really quick, wasn't it? That almost overnight, Israel produces a report uh, after President Biden uh, leans in with Prime Minister Netanyahu and reads him the riot act. Uh, and I think this uh, this also should raise some concerns about uh, the protocol for how accountability uh, is advanced by by the IDF right now. A accountability for the operators on the ground uh, it's not not good enough because there are political signals uh, that they're also getting, and and it quite frankly appears as if they weren't taking seriously the standard operating procedures for how to execute strikes, and they were not paying attention to. Uh, what the information they had on hand at that moment that was provided to them by their colleagues uh, through the, the with the World Central Kitchen uh, being directly engaged. So uh, some political accountability is needed as well. And I think that message uh, is starting to get through. 
Uh, but uh, President Biden, by pushing that, he's making the right call. Uh, Israel, remember, uh, they're now getting more isolated than they ever have been in this war. And uh, they are losing uh, the United States uh, day by day. And we are their primary backer and supporter. And if you lose the United States, and frankly, they have not gotten the deal yet for the hostages, there's a real concern about their ability to have an effective end state that does take care of the Palestinian people at the same time. Hey, everyone, MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it.